What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? What are you, what are you, what are you doing? You want some help? Can I help you? What's that? Cooking. We're cooking? What are we cooking? This stuff right here, you mean? In this cookbook? Chicken lap. Cabbage rolls. She's already made some changes here, obviously. So... It's not Monday, but that's okay. My wife usually does mom's Monday meals. And yesterday we had leftovers because they needed to get eaten. So she's cooking today. It's not Monday, but it is Tuesday. So we're going to make lap as it's pronounced, but you can see it's spelled L-A-R-B. So for all you white folks out there, it's LARB. For this, we're gonna make cabbage wraps. Typically, lop is not served as a wrap. So traditionally, my wife is Thai, by the way, if you're new to the channel. Uh, I don't think we've ever talked about this before, but my wife is Thai, half Thai. And so uh, lop is a Thai meat salad. So it can be served hot or cold. It's typically a ground meat of some sort. Chicken, pork, beef, whatever. Fish, it can even be fish. Um, but you usually just throw lime and garlic and fish sauce usually are gonna go in it. Most of the time purple onions and herbs like cilantro and mint and basil are gonna go in it. Thai chilies are gonna go in it. You can put a whole bunch of other stuff in it. It's meant to be kind of like a throw in everything but the kitchen sink kind of thing. So you can put uh, carrots and bean sprouts and bamboo shoots or water chestnuts or snow peas or whatever. You can throw all of that in there into the lot. It's going to be fun. So stick around. Before we get into the actual meal though, I'd really appreciate it if you'd hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and ring the notification bell so you don't miss anything that we do here on the channel. And everybody who's subscribed lately, thank you so much. I only have 10 subscribers. I know you might be looking at my subscriber count going, what? But I had like zero subscribers like a few months ago. So everybody who's subscribed so far, thanks. Appreciate it trying to put some stuff out that people would watch. So go down there, hit the subscribe button for me. If you're watching this video right now, you, hit it. All right, I'm gonna start getting some of the ingredients out. So I'm right now, I'm just setting up the rice cooker and I'm going to show you a trick that I learned every Asian household knows for the water. After you rinse your rice, you fill the water up to right there on your finger, the first digit. Put your finger down until you fill the rice, you stop when you fill the rice, and then you fill the water up to that first digit. And that's how much water you put in whenever you're making rice in a rice cooker. You don't measure how much rice, you don't measure how much water. You just put that thing in, plug it in, shut the lid, we're gonna turn it on, set it for white rice, and I guarantee you this rice is gonna come out looking great.
squid brand fish sauce. This is the right kind of fish sauce. Some people will tell you the other kinds are the right kind, but this is the right kind. You need the squid brand fish sauce. It's got a squid on it, but it's fish sauce. This is the one you need. It smells awful, but it tastes great, I promise. Lime for lime juice. And the recipe called for something that we thought we had never heard of it. Sambal Olek. And I was like, I've never heard of that before. It's the, the garlic chili paste with the rooster on it. That's all they needed to say, was just go get the chili paste with the rooster on it in the jar. Not the squeeze bottle. This is the hot sauce. This is the chili paste. All they had to say is, don't get this one, get this one. Go get the one with the gold label with the rooster on it. It's called Sambal Olek. It's delicious. We use it all the time. We actually had an open jar of it in our refrigerator. So I was like, oh, well, we actually don't need to go get that one. I thought we were gonna have to go to a specialty shop to get it. You can probably get it at your local Walmart grocery store, Sambal Olek in the Asian food aisle or international foods aisle. But yeah, garlic chili paste, delicious. And then we have our aromatics. Mint, basil, I'm gonna put green onion into this. In just a minute, I'm going to steam these cabbage leaves so that when we make the meat mixture, we're gonna roll these up and then we're gonna bake them in the oven. Most of the time, lop is gonna come with purple onion and I just so happen to have some left over, so we're gonna throw that in. but as we go way to keep the dishes down my wife did the dishes before we got in here and as we go we are trying to clean our dishes as we make them to minimize when we're done with all this having just a pile of dishes in here so that's why I'm rinsing everything and washing everything and trying to put it away as soon as we dirty it if we don't need it anymore pro tip grated fresh ginger we got a nub from the grocery store and some people may try to take a peeler to this or to cut it off but I'm gonna show you a really easy trick using just a spoon all you have to do is take your spoon just go down on the ginger like this off of the piece that you're gonna cut and use and it just takes that skin right off of there just like that just takes the skin right off and you don't lose any of the meat of your ginger and you can just go straight down that piece of ginger like that and just almost like peeling a potato and we just peel as much as we need for our recipe 
and just cut that piece off and then we can save the next piece for later. Now that's real simple, just using a spoon to peel your ginger. You don't have to complicate things. Okay, for all you haters out there on the internet, remember earlier in the video, you fill up the rice cooker, put your finger down until you touch the rice, and then you fill up the water to this little nub right here. That's it, you put it in there, you set it, and you just let it do its thing. It comes up perfect every time. Here's the proof. First time opening it. Perfect rice. Perfect. Perfect. It's perfect. Just kidding. Anyways, yeah. Nice and spongy. Stay in that rice cooker right there until our stuff is done in the oven. Ooh, gonna be good. So here's the final result. Baked cabbage rolls. Ooh. Baked cabbage rolls. Served over some perfect rice. Like I said, the rice came out perfect. So we're going to cut into them. Okay. How are they? Good. Good? What did you say about the filling? Is the bomb. Is the bomb. The filling was the bomb. Excellent. Taco. What does Taco think? Taco, you think they're good? <laughs> he doesn't know. What about Bella? You think they're good, Bella? Beggars. Mm. Okay, y'all. It's good. Mm-hmm. Anyways. That's it for Mom's Monday Meals. Mm, so delicious. <clears throat> Appreciate you guys being here. Hope you enjoy it. And as always, we'll see you on the next video. Peace. Once you recognize them, they should be I guess. And when that happens when you lose your job, it's not Creeper. Larb. When you go to the Thai menu, or the Thai restaurants, I mean, take two on that one. <laughs> we'll have a gag reel for this video. My, ch my chicken. Good. <laughs> so my chicken is going to cook my wife tonight. <laughs> 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 My wife's gonna cook chicken lot tonight. <laughs>